Zwom Bimo. Hey everyone and welcome to another Bimo Creative Crypto video. So this one is about the Maricoxi. Uh Since the first arrival of Europeans in South America, there have been countless sightings of what has been described as ape men, cavemen, or Sasquatch-like creatures. The Maricoxi is one of these. It's a tribe said to be living in the remote jungles of South America. They are an interesting and mysterious form of hominid cryptids, having strong hairy bodies, heavy brow ridges, sloping foreheads, and long limbs. They're just not as huge as Sasquatch or the other forest giants of North America. Exploration Fawcett was a book that I've read, um, published in 1953. It was arranged from his manuscripts, letters, log books, and records by his son, Brian Fawcett, documenting the significant sightings of this tribe. In uh, 1914, it says, accompanied by two Englishmen named Manley and Coston, Colonel Fawcett uh, made an expedition from Bolivia into southwestern Mato Grosso. After they reached the Guapore River, they soon went north and then east into the Corriera do Pareces, because he'd been there before, he wanted to show um, Manly and Costin these people. After several weeks, the men came across the Amerindian people who called themselves the Maxibus. And the Maxubis um, was a language that um, Fawcett knew, and so he could communicate with them openly. And the Maxubis were sun worshippers that warned Fawcett, don't continue going northeast right now because the Maricoxi are there and they are dangerous. For several days, of course, they went northeast uh, into the uninhabited forest. On the fifth day of the expedition, the men found a trail. Percy Fawcett came across two hairy people who were threatened and so drew their bows on him and his team at a distance of about 200 yards because this time they were they had drug their boat through the forest on this little peninsula area and then back into the water and they saw these guys up on a hill. And uh, yeah, after that, they turned and they, they went back down into the forest after shouting and raising their bows and arrows over their heads. So Manly and, and Costin were very happy about this, but Fawcett wasn't. He wanted to talk to these people. Uh, the explorers managed to escape, but this was not the last encounter that they were going to have with them because Fawcett pursued. Uh, two days after the first encounter, the party stumbled upon a group of them. Fawcett attempted to speak to them in Maxubis and Maxubi because he spoke that language and several other languages he tried, but they only grunted, seemingly unable to comprehend any words the colonel spoke. After this encounter, Fawcett did say in his journals that uh, he described their communication to each other as a form of grunts and hand gestures, but no spoken words, according to him. Uh, one distinction between this tribe and other hairy giant cryptids is the skillful use of their weapons. They were seen carrying bows and also using uh, hunting horns, so they would blow horns to keep in contact with each other. This sounded like animal cries in the, in the forest. The uh, hairy people drew their bows towards Fawcett on two occasions, he said, when he would uh, raise his voice because they started talking among themselves and not looking at him. They would draw their bows and turn and look at him. And on the third time of this, he thought they were really going to attack. So he drew his Mauser pistol and fired at the ground at their feet to stop them on their, at, on their advance. And the Maricoxi immediately, like instinctfully, jumped behind trees and forests and stuff and like disappeared. And so the men that were with him kind of freaked and started shooting into the woods. It reminds me of the Predator movie when Arnold and team were just shooting into the woods. They hit nothing. These guys hit nothing. And so they got out of there and hoped that they weren't followed back to their boat. Uh, modern day science believes there are about a half a dozen tribes in South America that have never seen civilization as we know it. According to the indigenous people, a tribe is just a large family group. And so to them, there's well over a hundred unknown tribes. If you ask the Maxubis, they would tell you that. Um, in this picture, 
I found, you can find several pictures like this. This is supposedly a tribe that doesn't know civilization at all. And there's a woman among this, this group that has hair all over her body, kind of the hypotrichosis, which is like the dogman disease or wolf, wolfman disease. Um, it's very rare, but maybe among their tribe, it's, it's kind of rarish common. I mean, she looks like, I mean, you can see her right there in the top left middle kind of, she's, she's darker than the others. The others are wearing uh, paint. Of course, she's not, she's all black because of the black hair on her body, all over her body. And so maybe this is what, um, Percy Fawcett witnessed was a couple of these kinds of people covered in hair so they don't you know they had their bows and everything and they had their hair and so he thought that's what he saw but it could just be hypertrichosis but anyways what do you think do you think that there is a bow using sasquatch tribe living in south america leave a comment below that's going to do it for this one please leave a like and subscribe to bemo creative for more crypto videos thanks